Hi friends, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to study about APIs. This is a very important term. Nowadays it has been used like everywhere in development specifically. So today we will learn about APIs, what it means from conceptual point of view and from the development point of view. So if you are new here, do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so that you will get the next videos delivered first to you. So let us start with today's class. So API if you look up it means application programming interface ok. So what this term actually means we will try to understand. So first term that is important is the interface. So what is an interface ok. So to give an analogy that what this interface means and what this API will stand is this ok. Consider having a radio ok. So this radio has got two knobs ok. One you use to change the frequency so that you connect with different stations and other is to adjust the volume. And you have got an antenna and the internal systems that make you connect or receive radio signals from other stations and so that you can play ok. So this is the system. So internally this system works for example it will have a radio receivers for example and for volume adjustment there will be a system that will adjust the currents ok. So it will have some internal mechanism but from the perspective of a listener who is listening to a music or any station it has got two things that it can modify. It can either change a station or increase or decrease the volume. As the user of this system, you are only concerned with what you want to achieve from this system. Okay? So this radio, if you consider it as a system, it has some internal mechanism. But as the user, you are not bothered how it works internally. You are only bothered that what you want to achieve. So this system provides a simple interface. Okay? This is the meaning of the interface. Simple interface to you so that you can achieve your task. And it abstract all the internal mechanism within itself. So this radio provides in this system two things, okay? two knobs with which you can achieve your desired result. Okay? So this is the API, this knob you can consider it as the API 1, it is an API with which you can change the your frequency that you want to listen to and this you can change the volume, this is another API. So API is something which a system provides to the user so that user can easily achieve what it wants without bothering about the system architecture or how complex the system is. So this is actually the meaning of an API from the conceptual point of view. Okay? So one of the advantage of this simple interfaces API for example is that in this internal mechanism is independent from the user. Okay? So for example you want to change for example the frequency receivers to something else the user do not have to update itself that it has to operate it differently. It only has to move the knob. So even if the system changes, the user can still get the same, achieve the same thing how it was getting it earlier. Okay? So API actually makes this client, you can say the user independent and it do not have to change when the system changes. Now imagine, suppose you do not have these knobs simple knobs. You had to go and change the wirings in between so that you can achieve this frequency for example. Okay? So it will be very difficult for the user to adapt to change if some other radio comes which has different wiring, you will have to now understand that how you should change the wiring in that system. So user will have to update itself whenever there is a different change. So API shields from such changes. So in short, API provides a simple means to access the resource which the system has 
without the user bothering that how this system has been built. Okay? So, this is the simple meaning of the API. Now, we need to understand API from the perspective of developer. Okay? So, what API means from the development point of view that is in which context actually it has been used. Okay? Now, we will see that. So, you can categorize that where APIs are being used. Okay? Now, first you can categorize API as software library and framework what APIs means in this context. Okay? So, software library is that you develop. For example, if you are writing a program, uh, for example, your Android application. Okay? So, you interact with the OS. So, you have got Android framework which provides various methods using that you can interact with the OS. For example, you can draw the UI, you can for example, make a network call. So, software libraries that for example, you have written a service which you have put on some GitHub or open source and somebody else is using that. So, how somebody else is using your library is also through methods or the way you have written it is also called as an API. So, for example, you have got procedural language like C. So, API in that context means that it has got functions and parameters. Okay? So, you will expose the function and parameter for the user of your library so that he can make desired changes. For example, you have written a library to process the image. So, you can expose a function which can say that apply this filter where this parameter could be the image bitmap and you desired fil for example, filter flags. So, that becomes a API for your library. Okay? You can have your library written in object oriented language for example, Java. So, here you have to specify the object and the various methods of the object which the user of your library will be able to use. So, API in this context means that the user of your for example, there is a framework for example, Android. Okay? So, Android framework is here and internally Android framework is using many libraries okay, for making HTTP call, for making file access. So, lab, the framework may be using multiple libraries. As the user of this framework, you interact with specific methods which has been exposed okay, to you. For example, if you want to take for example, image from a camera. So, there is a API which the framework provides which you can use. Okay? So, API from the software library and framework means the methods or the objects which is exposed by the library or framework to the user of that framework. Okay? Now, API from the context of operating system means that operating system is just like any software. Okay? So, operating system provides various for example, methods with which you can access the system resources. So, application for example, desktop application you may be writing. So, you want to access for example, file. So, the operating system can provide for example, a method that you can call from this application just like this library and you will get access to the file. Okay? So, as an application you are not concerned that how the file is being read. Okay? So, operating system has written a program that how the file will be loaded in the buffer and how it will be read for example. So, as an application you are only concerned that I give the file path and I will get the file content how it is handled, it is written in the OS. So, OS provides a method which is also you can say it is an API. So, API is from the perspective of operating system lies in OS providing some APIs which the application can use to interact with the system. Okay? Now, APIs can also be categorized from the perspective that how you are trying to access the resource. So, you can have remote APIs. What does this mean is that suppose you have got a database somewhere in the your cloud for example 
and you are accessing the database and you are making some changes into the data. So the database is providing the APIs which you can access remotely. Okay? For example, you have writing an application in Java. So Java provides database connectivity. Okay? So using this database connectivity, as a developer, I can query very different types of databases using the same methods which are provided by the database connectivity. For example, database can be MySQL or Postgres. So those databases will be different, but as a developer, I can connect those databases regardless of the type and I can use the uniform methods which will work on both the database. So that API which we have provided by the Java is able to access multiple type of databases and we are not concerned about how it is dealing with that. We are only concerned that if I call this method, I will get this work done. Okay? Now at most of the time, APIs are referred from the perspective of the web APIs and this is the most general context in which people talk. So web APIs means and it comes into the picture when an interface is there between enterprise and the application. It means that you have you have got your server okay, and it is doing it has it is providing certain services for example web st uh, streaming for videos or access your social network for example. So that enterprise can provide various APIs so that I can interact with those services. So how to interact with that? So API as I talk that it is a mean to do something and only I am con concerned with how I am what I am getting and simplified way how I am able to make the calls. So it provides URLs so that I can access the resources. Okay? So from the web development perspective when I say the APIs I mean that HTTP protocol which I am going to use okay, HTTP method that I am going to use and desired response and the for example its format it can be JSON it can be an XML. Okay? Now let us try to understand APIs from the perspective of web development which is the most common scenario in which APIs are used. Okay? So basically you create a web services okay, and you provide a means to the client so that you can access that service. Okay? What do I mean by that? And also we are going to talk about what is the role of APIs in today's modern web development. Okay? Suppose you are a company, okay? you are a company and you have got a list of products and the user of your company's for example APIs, you provide an HTTP request like this. Okay? Because you are having a remote service, you will have to use HTTP for example protocol so that you can access that service. So using HTTP, you have to provide an endpoint and URL which can be used by the end users which can access your service. Okay? So you may be having a service running at your backend and you expose one method of that infrastructure you have created which can be accessed by this URL. Okay? So for example, this company's domain has flight and provide the date, it provides the list of all the, for example here it is flights, product will be the flights. Okay? So we will get the list of all the flights for that date. So this company has provided an API through which I can fetch all the flights that this company has for that particular date. So in order to specify the API, here API means this URL which you can use to access the system resources. Now here you have to supply the HTTP endpoint for the API, what methods should be called, what will be the request format. Okay? If you are for example using the POST request, so what will be the format? Here we are using GET request, so this will be the format of the request. In the query parameters, we will have to supply the date. Then if there are some headers which must be provided, 
for example authentication headers should be there and what will be the response format if the list of flight comes as a json object it will have to be specified here and if suppose some error happens so what will be the type of error which the system can respond with okay for example 400 500 401 okay so based on the certain certain error condition it can supply to the user of your apis so for web services you need to specify all these things for your apis okay so how this api plays a role in modern system suppose you are an aggregator company okay you have a web portal where i can see the list of flights from various other companies okay so user comes here put a date here so we will call the api which this company has provided okay and this will return a list of users similarly this company also provides an api which we will call so we can call multiple companies apis okay and using all the three companies data we can show to the user okay so now the web system one resource can talk to another services for example and we can develop a very hybrid system so that's why api plays a very important role in modern web development okay so i try to cover apis from the perspective of developer how developer have to understand the apis and mostly the web developers tend to use the term apis but frequently it is also used with the writers of the library for example if you are writing a library for any framework like android or for example node.js okay so when you write a library you expose the functionality of your library using methods and you specify the class what properties must be passed in the parameters and that becomes an api okay so i hope you must have understood what api is and how it is being used in the development environment okay so i will meet you in the next video take care